How are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Fam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Fam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I'd never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fit. if I pull this plug. Great job! I knew you could pull it off! Get it? Pull? Off? Oh, Luther! Over here! Uncle Blenny? Uncle Blenny, what are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horst Fetters the Tourist. Can't your dogfish look out the thief? Old Soggy Sniffer ain't what it used to be. But if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. Oh, if only I, Pierre, had the perfect accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. What's wrong with the egg that's on it? The egg? It is too roly-poly. But I suppose it will have to do. Unless, of course, I could get the perfect accessory. A blue-tailed joey bird feather. That would look beautiful, Pierre. My little eye, something beginning with a P. Can you guess what it is? Uh. Hmm. It's a purple sea urchin. Good work, Luther.
Step right up, gills and buoys, for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tubes ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. Wow, it's a Grandma Grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Appearances are often deceiving. Wow, that's really deep. a carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. Change the kind of sound the organ makes. Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. This way to last year's ride, the legendary Terrific Tumble Tubes. Look, Freddy, it's a purple sea urchin. Got it. Look, Luther, the doorway's clear. Swell. Freddy, it's the terrific tumble tubes. I won't fit in these tubes, Luther, but you can go. Just open that tube. Bonsai! Yippee! When I want to go down to the bottom of the sea, I go swim around. Are you two going to the Founders Day Festival? We sure hope things will work out that way. Well, you should, you know. It's going to be ever so much fun. Really, it is. Thank you. 
Look, Freddy, it's a Snaboopy Pop. No, it's not. It's a purple sea urchin. I knew that. I just like to say Snaboopy Pop. Snaboopy Pop. Snaboopy Pop. Snaboopy Pop. Look, Freddy, a golden pipe! But it looks like it's locked up tighter than a... Uh, tighter than something that's locked up tight, Luther? Uh, yeah. We'll just need to find a way to unlock it. Hey, get out of the bullies club. Uh, you guys got the perfect dimensions for punching bags. Now stop bugging me, or I'll take out my pen of frustrations on ya. This guy just doesn't know how to be a polite host. What do you two want? Excuse me, but I was wondering if we could borrow that flashlight to find the golden pipe. If it's in the clubhouse, it must be the clubhouse flashlight. And maybe you didn't notice, but this is the Bullies Club, and I just happen to be the president. What I see? Purple sea urchin! So special. By the way, name's Magenta. I'm Luther, and this is Freddy Fish.
<laughs> Here's a purple sea urchin. That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. Another purple sea urchin for you. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. Here's another purple sea urchin. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you, too, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day. Flip the critters up the wall. When enough of the same critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out, when the critters move above the bar, they won't go away. In appreciation of your prodigious prowess, the world famous Floating Fun is proud to present you with this a fantabulous funhouse mirror replica. <laughs> There's no time for that now, Luther. Thanks, Gil. of the Bullies Club, I command you to leave. Freddy, a flashlight might be useful to get Uncle Blenny out of jail, but this guy is too mean to mess with. Hey, Luther, I have a plan. Big 
stupid looking ugly ones. Ah! Ah! Can we borrow that flashlight now? Sure. In fact, you can keep that flashlight as long as you want. This key looks like it will open that lock. Luther, we got one of the golden pipe. All right. Now we need. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. Oh. Dig out this old hollow log and pull it into the water. Okie dokie. <laughs> All right! Come on, Luther. Help me push this log. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Ugh. We're really making headway! Keep pushing! We're drifting right back to where we started from! Just keep the log moving, we'll be home free! Ugh. Can't stop pushing, must keep moving forward! Ugh. I just had a brainstorm! This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall! You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis! bring you everything from the dramatic to the acrobatic and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, gentlefish and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed!
need to find something else for that blue-tailed joey bird to cuddle with if we want to get that golden pipe. Look at the feather from the blue-tailed joey bird. It's beautiful, Freddy. <laughs> Good job, Lothar. It's a beautiful I am Pierre Zatella. Pierre, we found a beautiful blue-tailed joey bird feather. And we thought you might like it to decorate your hat. Oh, yes. The feather is a perfect accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. You can keep that roly-poly egg. Voila! It's a Joey Bird happier than that golden pipe ever was. some light, Luther, so you won't have to be afraid anymore. Who, me? I wasn't afraid. <laughs> <laughs>
We did it, Freddy! We found all three golden pipes! Come on! Let's see if old Soggy can pick up the bad guy's scent. Here you go, boy! Come on, Luther! We've got a bad guy to catch! So you can put the jewel back, and we can catch that thief! <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. This. It might come in handy. could loosen that crystal. This might set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. This beautiful red crystal sure gives off a lot of light. That could come in very handy indeed. Hey, the crystal grew back. That's the 
key I need to get Looper out. Yippee! I got it! Must have dropped this bag. <gasps> Looks like we can solve this case. Come on. And now, for the first time ever, the show won't go on. It's unbelievable. The letdown of a lifetime. This is more disappointing than when the Plankton Circus came to town. It's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm going to give that bum a piece of my mind. Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent! <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found bread and a sewing needle. Which means the thief is... Pierre! You're the thief! Ridiculous! That could have been anybody's thread and sewing needle in that bag. You have nothing on me. Oh la la! Oh no? <laughs> Alright, uh, maybe you do have something on me. I confess, the great conch is the ultimate expression of exquisitely good taste. It would have made the ultimate accessory for my latest and greatest fashion creation. The great conch isn't just an ornament. It's an important part of life under the sea. Also, being great at something you do doesn't give you the right to do bad things. And no matter how you look at it, stealing is bad. I feel smaller than the krill. I am a sorry, needlefish. I return to you, the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand, exalted keeper of the conch, thanks to Freddy and Luther. <laughs> and old Soggy. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, old grand, exalted keeper of the conch. <laughs> Pierre was convicted of breaking Penal Code 919 for only thinking of himself. As punishment, Pierre was sentenced to 4,284 hours of public service, sewing hand puppets for underprivileged humpback whales. Case closed.
Do you want to stop playing? See you real soon!